Roses are red. Crafting's hard. But I'm gonna show you something that's fun to make and better to give than a card. Okay, so I'm super excited about today's fun project. I'm gonna show you how you can make a lottery scratch off ticket for your Valoween gift to your significant other. I thought it'd be fun to make him a couple of little coffin shaped stretchers, like lottery tickets, so he can win date nights or acts of service from me. Now you have to remember not to make all of your cards winning cards. You wanna have some fun with it. So make a bunch, pick a small portion to make winners, and make the rest losers so they keep wanting to scratch for more. It is, after all, all a game of chance. All right, so for this project, you are going to need one piece of eight and a half by 11 cardstock in one color, another piece in a contrasting color. Depending on the shape you make, you do not have to make the coffin shapes that I'm making, but I'm going to be showing you how to measure and make those today. You're gonna need something to cut, whether it be a a rotary cutter or a pair of scissors. You're going to need a ruler, a pencil, some clear packing tape, some acrylic paint in a dark color, some dish soap, and some glue. And a marker to write your sayings. So the first part is basically the most tedious part, and that is all of the measuring that you have to do. So for the cards themselves, there's actually two layers of coffin shape. The gray shape that you're gonna scratch off is the opposing color that has the scratch off paint, which I'll show you how to make, on top of a layer of tape so it doesn't ruin your message. So first thing we have to do is we have to measure and cut all of the little coffin shapes, which yes, can get very tedious. So what I like to do is I'll measure and cut the first pair and then trace and cut out all of the rest. But I will show you how to measure these. So for the outer size, I made these a two inch by four inch rectangle. So these are the bigger outside. So then what you wanna do is you want to find the center of the short side, which it's two inches, it's pretty easy, so that's only one inch. Mark both top and bottom. If your paper has a color on one side and a white on the other, make sure you're marking on the white or blank side. So there you can see my measurements, top and bottom of halfway. Next thing we wanna do is we wanna determine how far down the side does your angle start. So I'm gonna, so one and one eighth of an inch down from the one side or another, just pick one side to come down from. So now it should look like that. All right, so now the top side here need to measure an equidistant measurement from the center point on both sides. So it's one inch total on each side of the middle line. So I'm gonna go
I'm gonna go five eighths. Like so. And now on the bottom side is the skinnier side of the coffin. And that I'm just gonna do at a half an inch on each side. So now your card should look like that with all those marks. And you're just gonna take your ruler and you're gonna diagonal from the outer, further out line to the middle line on the long side. So you're gonna go from this line here to this line here and this line here to this line here. And just connect the lines. And now it should look like that. And now you're just gonna cut it apart. Since these are angled cuts, I am using my scissors. And there you go, cute little coffin shape. And then for the alternate color, so I made these boxes overall 1.75 by 3.75 for the alternate color. Center of top and bottom on that one is 7 eighths of an inch. of an inch instead of coming down from the top or one side that full uh, one and a quarter we're actually going to go exactly one or one and an eighth rather oh my gosh sorry So those are down one inch from the top. All right, now the shortest side or the top side, I'm going a half an inch away from the center. And on the bottom, I'm going three eighths of an inch from the middle. So it should now look like that. Like so, and now cut it out. And now when you hold them up on each other, one should be slightly smaller than the other. Super cute. And so honestly, I'm just gonna trace the one I've already got done onto all of these. And once I get all the shapes cut, I'll be right back. 
Okay, now that we got all of our little coffins cut out, it's time for the fun part. We get to decide what they want, we want them to say. So, okay, us being us, we like quirky and spooky around here. So we also love vampire humor. So for any of the ones that are gonna be winners, I think they're gonna say, you win, blah, blah, blah. Something, something, something. Um, things that they can win. Date night out, home cooked meals, acts of service like little back massages or, um, you know, one day without chores. You know, make it up as you go along. Pick some interesting thing. One gift from, like, let's say you have a basket of gifts that are wrapped, you know, pick one gift from the basket. There's so many different great fun ideas you can do with this craft. It's endless. Um, and then for the losers, I'm gonna make them say something fun too. So let's get your black Sharpie out and start writing all your phrases. Okay, and now that you've got all your sayings done, if you want to, I will bring you guys around and show you all mine, but don't judge. We're kind of dorky over here. Okay, so as you guys can see, ours are pretty silly. Um, so some of the losers, you have to pay acts of service to me as opposed to receiving them. Yeah. And then my winners, yes, they are silly. But that is supposed to be the point. Okay, so now that we've got our sayings on there, we need to seal them up with the packing tape. So you're going to take your packing tape and you're actually going to put it over the entire top of the coffin that you just wrote on. You want to try to get it on there with no air bubbles. The smoother, the better. Once you get them all stuck down in the tape, you're just going to trim around the edges up close, as close as you can to the coffin shape. You'll want to clean your scissors with rubbing alcohol when you're done cutting all of these out, by the way. the tape on all of these and they've been trimmed we need to mix up our scratch off paint which is the part of this that I am most excited for and that is where the dish soap comes into play okay so it's pretty easy you want to take a dark color um, I'm choosing a graphite gray that is also metallic and you're gonna mix two parts paint with one part soap and you're just going to mix it up and it should look like this when you get done so the trick to getting a good scratch off is in the way that you paint so you have to paint one vertical and one layer of horizontal after the vertical layer drops and then that'll give you a really good scratch off quality. So yeah, I'm just going to lay out my little tickets. Um, and I, it doesn't matter, you know, where your winners and losers are. Like I said, it's supposed to be random. Now, I know what you're thinking, you could have left the tape on to paint them, but that is not true. If you left the tape on and take these down to paint them, when you go to trim the tape, the uh, scratch off material actually starts to crack and peel off. So yeah, you can't tape, cut the tape off later. You have to cut the tape off first before you paint.
and yeah, you're just gonna paint away. Nice liberal coat. Your first coat, you'll be able to see through it a little bit. And that's because of the dish soap, but go nice, even strokes. And coat the whole thing. And I'm also kind of putting the paint on pretty heavily. Normally when I paint, I would wipe off my brush more and want less paint, but in this case, you want it kind of thick. before I come back and do the second coat. So I'll see you in an hour. <laughs> So it's been an hour and now we're going to come back and we're going to paint the next layer. We're going to paint this way across the tickets this time. Let that dry for another hour and then come back and do a final coat vertically up and down. So this coat you're going to go across instead of up and down. Same thing, nice thick coat, don't be stingy. The thicker the coat, the better the scratch off. Be gentle with your brush. You don't want to rub the undercoat off. All right, all done with that. And now we wait one more hour and come back and do the final coat and then we're ready to assemble. All right, these are dry again. It's time for the third coat. And this way, time I'm gonna go up and down again. Now this coat should be thinner than your previous two coats. This should be like your smoothing coat. You're gonna smooth the ticket out with this top coat. And there we go, they're all dry to the touch. And now all I gotta do is glue them onto these. a whole bunch of vampire themed lottery scratch off just for Halloween. How cute are these? All right, so now the real big test is if they work. Uh, I don't want to ruin them. All right, I got to pick one at random. So I just took an envelope and I made a little penny pouch <laughs> with some heart punches. I just used a heart hole punch and I punched three hearts and I glued the first two down and then the second one I only glued the bottom part of the V and I put happy Halloween on the envelope and they're all going to go in the envelope and on the inside I put a thing that says 
Vampire Lotto tickets, scratch off one per day. And then the little penny's gonna go in the pouch and I'm gonna give it to him just like that. All right, moment of truth. Oh my God, that scratches off so nice. Okay, I'm gonna touch this up and then let it dry and put it in the envelope with the rest. So I don't wanna ruin it, but you can see where I scratched just a little bit is showing through. Oh, I'm so happy these worked. All right, so I think I, to touch it up, I'm just gonna blot it. And look, good as new. Can't even tell I scratched it. <laughs> All right, so they're gonna go into the little envelope. Oh, I'm so lucky they fit. And then, back in the day, I used to be huge into letter, letter writing. And so I have an enormous collection of wax sticks and wax stamps. So I'm going to seal this baby up with some wax and a nice, beautiful stamp. And we're going to go from there. So this particular stick, I can tell by how stringy it is, has a lot of resin added to it, which is like pine resin, not like acrylic resin. This should be a good enough pile. And yeah, there we go. We have a nice sealed envelope. And now it's all ready to give as a gift. I don't want to set that down on my wax yet because it still has not cured all the way. Well, thanks for joining me in today's episode of Lottery Scratch Off Tickets. I hope you had as much fun making them as I did. Make sure you give a thumbs up if you liked what you saw today. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions about today's project or have any other project you'd like me to try. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an episode of all the fun going on here in the lab. And as always, be like the best in the belfry and hit that bell so you get notified every time we upload. Thank you for joining me again and I'll see you again here in the lab next time. Bye!